I'm going to modify this recursive binary method. Instead of making it print, I'm going to make it return a string instead of being a void. So the way I want to use it is to put it inside of a print statement, and I want this to turn into a string. So how are we going to do that? Well, first thing we'll do, can't be a void, it's got to be a string. If value is greater than zero, all right, we're going to need to have a string result equals, so it'll be whatever this display binary returns. Then instead of printing the next part, result equals result plus this right here, this number which will automatically convert to a string, and then we need to return result. All right, this will mostly work, except what happens if value is not greater than zero? Well, before what would happen, let's look at that code that was in the book. If value is not greater than zero, what happens? Well, the short answer is nothing. What is nothing as a string? Nothing would be an empty string. So I'll return the empty string if value is not greater than zero. And this should give us output that we want, okay? So if I is six, we get 110, which means there's one four, one two, and no ones, and four and two is six. So this is I equals six, that's great. And now we're all set up to turn this into a for loop. I equals, we, I think zero will mess it up because, yeah, if we, well, let's do zero. We'll see, our base case isn't great. Uh, I less than, we should be able to go pretty big on this. Let's just do something reasonable. Let's go to 33. Oops. There we go. And of course, we can't declare i twice. All right, run this. Here we go. So you see all the different binary values here. Now we have a little problem when i is zero. Uh, this should be printing or returning a zero here. But the problem is if you put a zero here, it'll fix the zero case. But it will attach a zero to the front of each of these numbers. Not a big deal. Uh, we could fix that if we put an if statement right before this. Uh, I'm not too concerned about eliminating that extra zero. That's totally fine. Uh, but this will convert uh, numbers right here from integer into binary using this display binary method.